Alan Edgehead here, and welcome to a quick little video of a demo from uh, around E3, I think, uh, is when these demos came out. Uh, their event previews, there were uh, a few, I think there might have been more than just these two, but I'm going to jump into it right now. This is the M Mutant Muds Super Challenge event preview, which is just a fancy way to say demo. But if you don't know what Mutant Muds is, it's a uh, it's like Mega Man Lite. It's a jump and shoot game made by Rene Renegade Kid. Great people. I'm going to mess around. Okay, I already got hit. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad at games. Oh, and it's going to count your deaths. What uh, Super Challenge is, though, is basically Mutant Muds, but, like, super hardcore. The most challenging levels yet. So I'm using the Wii U Pro Controller. Moving around with the D-pad. You can squat by hitting down. You can shoot while uh, squatted with the Y button. The X button also shoots. B jumps, A jumps, so your optimal controls are walk with the D-pad and shoot and jump with Y and B. And the main aim is to collect all these uh, golden diamonds before the time runs out. And if you jump and you hit the jump button again, you will hover with your jetpack. You play as Max, you're trying to rid the world of the, the mutant muds, the evil muds from wherever they're from, and I'm never going to beat this level before the time runs out. Pretty sure there's a hundred golden diamonds in every stage, and that looked to be like a hidden little crevice. Ah. Oh, and of course I've got to try to get it all again. This is, this is unforgiving. Oh, and there's a crevice here, too. I didn't even notice it. I haven't played this yet, and it's been out since around E3. So this is my first experience with Mutant Mud Super Challenge. I'm actually excited for Treasure Knots that they're working on next. Now that they've finished this, and this comes out soon-ish. I don't know exactly when it comes out. They've been working on it a while now. Renegade Kid makes awesome stuff. Okay. Well, once you get into the swing of things, it starts becoming, like, second nature to just flow through these. Let's jump over here. Ah. It's just gonna sit here and count my deaths. Rub it in my face. I'm not going to play the entire demo, I might just do this level, so this isn't like a full-blown let's play, but it's just a preview. The event preview, it's a demo. I may do Mutant Muds on Wii U, ah, and if you hold down and hit the jump button, you you fall through floors that you can fall through, and I'm going to get hit. You hold down, you push the jump button, you fall through the floor. I did that and I died. Clearly really bad. They are doing a good job at designing hard levels because, as you can see, I've already died four times. So let's just eh. jump, collect these guys. Little guys take one hit, the big guys take two or three. It all varies depending upon their size and girth. I said girth. But I, I have this, like, the this base game that this is based on, Mutant Muds and Mutant Muds Deluxe on just about every system you can get it on, except the, the, the Sony systems. I'm pretty sure it's on Vita. I'm not exactly sure. It might be. I know Zeo Drifter is, and it's a good. I have uh, Mutant Muds Deluxe on Steam, 
my 3DS and my uh, Wii U. Oh, there's the checkpoint. Mutant Muds, the original game, didn't have checkpoints. But then with Mutant Muds Deluxe, they added checkpoints. Because Mutant Muds, the original game, without checkpoints was pretty hard in and of itself. Eh, whatever. Finally getting into the swing of things here. I don't want to die here. Okay. Oh, I knew- oh! Five deaths! Oh, Mutant Muds is amazing. I love it. It's such a good... It's challenging. Fun! But it can be very, very frustrating. And spikes are instant kill. And I keep doing that. Because I am a dumb dumb. Okay, let's jump down here. Yeah, yeah! Don't accidentally push the jump button as you're squatted. Don't want to fall through the floor. Get into a motion here. Son of a! Frustrating! Frustrating! Frustrations rise. There's no way to actually get these event previews anymore. They were only downloadable for a short period of time around when they were first released. They were like up for like a week or so, or maybe a couple weeks, but there's no way to get it now. The other one that I have that I'm going to do a thing on is Freedom Planet. You've got a duck there, this game. Oh, boy. I can't wait for the full game. Can't even beat level one. Already getting hit. Okay. Whee! Fall. 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 Uh, fall. Shoot, shoot. How do you get over there? Yo! Don't mess with me, game! Max, get in there! I clearly see that! How get? Taking it slow and steady. I don't want to get killed by the spikes. Can I fall through this? Yes, I can. Thank you. You need a special gun to get through that to get into the retro. Dang it! Oh my god. The retro inspired levels. This game is brutal. Let's try this again. Jump. And jump. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got a, a motion here now. I'm not gonna... Oh! I tried to turn around, but you can't turn around while squatted. You stand up. Oh! You get ten deaths! I, I guess that's it. Coming soon to the Wii U. You get 10 deaths, apparently. Man! That is unfortunate, but I guess that shows you what to expect with Mutant Mud's uh, Super Challenge. It's, it's Mutant Mud's Deluxe, cranked up to 11. So, if you didn't think that the original Mutant Mud's Deluxe was challenging enough and you need... You need something to test your, your platforming prowess? Mutant Mud Super Challenge looks to be right up your alley. As you can see, I couldn't even beat level 1. Going for all the golden diamonds, but... I don't know, I wonder how far I could have got... Had I been just skipping the diamonds and trying to get to the end of the level. And get the, the giant... Uh, jewel at the end of the stage. 
just to clear. I don't know. But, Mutant Mud Super Challenge, coming soon to Wii U. Renegade Kid, follow them on Twitter. They're great people. I'll see you guys later.